Hey, everybody. <laughs> I love that music. It was selected by my guest today. Thank you for tuning in to Deborah Cobalt Live. Um, happy to have you here. Now, for anyone who has wanted to lose weight, hmm, um, have I got the show for you. And uh, today in studio, I have two people that are very, very interesting. I've got Craig Ramsey right here to my right. Hello. Wow. Great applause. Gorgeous, hunky fitness expert to the stars and anyone and you Ooh. are hunky good oh, lord he that. undressed he actually took his shirt off and i went oh my god um when he was getting ready with the product that he's endorsing modius and we have the ceo of modius um jason McEwen. did i say that right yeah. <laughs> perfect yeah it's pretty good Pretty good first attempt. Look, I got to tell you, I got three kids and I don't get their names right. So, oh, yeah. you know, the fact that I'm getting yours sort of right is a good thing. Okay, so what we've got here, Jason, and I'm going to have you explain it, is a headset. I want you guys to know this has been endorsed also by Do Dr. Drew Pinsky, and that's a big deal to me. Yeah. Okay, when you've got someone with that kind of credibility endorsing something like this, they get my attention. This is called Modius, and essentially it's a headset and you put it on your head, and for anyone um, who is looking to stimulate that part of the brain, which is called, what, the hypothalamus? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what this does. It controls your appetite and all kinds of things that help you lose weight. Uh, Jason, take it away. What does this thing do? Yeah, I suppose we, we all know someone, if not ourselves, that struggles a bit with trying to lose weight. And, you know, no matter how hard we try, we tend to either, you know, the appetite goes through the roof or we do well for a little while. And then all of a sudden, you know, just bounces right back. And, you know, my background as a doctor and a neurologist, I'm really interested in what actually drives all of that. And, and it's actually something in your brain, as you've mentioned, the hypothalamus. So what we are doing is actually stimulating that hypothalamus with a little electronic pulse, and it gives it the signal to, to, I suppose, to tell you that your body should actually be leaner. So it makes it a lot easier to lose weight. So let me ask you this. So as I'm in the kitchen, and I'm always walking through the kitchen mm -hmm. to get somewhere, and there is some cornbread sitting by my side. Remember, I said I got three boys. So there's always something in the kitchen. Cornbread, of all Corn. things. I know, of all things, you know, yeah. or crumb cake or something that we make. It's always, please. You know, I mean, I have the apples and the little cutie oranges there, too, but the, it's always the cornbread that's calling yeah, me. The it's nice like, stuff. So does this thing go, ah, give me a little smack and say no? I mean, essentially, what does this do? I'm being silly, but what does this do to help to help suppress that sort of a craving and that sort of an appetite thing? Yeah, no, that's a great a great question. And I suppose when a lot of people think of their their brain and how it connects to to metabolism, they think it's just the the willpower. You know, so if if you're trying to diet, it's just a matter of willpower. You just have to decide mm -hmm. yourself not to eat something. Okay, and you know, two billion people are overweight. Are we really saying that they are failing because they just can't try hard enough? Okay. Yeah. So, so for us, as I say, the driver for all this is much deeper. It's a deeper part of your brain. It controls things like your hormones, your fat storage, your appetite, and it, it is that that we are fixing. And a, a big part of that is is appetite. So you, you might not notice that all of a sudden you're just not eating, but over the period of sort of weeks and months, you'll you'll find that your appetite subtly starts to decrease. Not suddenly, right away for me. Yeah. Okay, Tell yeah. me your experience. Me. I know for me. Um, I was thinking about it a lot because first I was trying to figure out how to use it. And then once I did, it was very easy. Um, and then I was putting it on saying, now, come on, kick in. And then once I stopped thinking about it, I did notice that I had a sense of calm and I wasn't mm. just thinking about grabbing a right. piece of cornbread. So that it worked like that. There's for you that too. cornbread again. <laughs> that damn corn. I got to get rid of it. I got to toss it out. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> damn. Come to my house, Mr. Trainer. And oh, please. Eat it and give it to your clients or whatever. We'll work but, out. Yeah. After. I would love to do that. Yeah. But um, we'll talk about that because I'm actually doing the New York Marathon and I actually am looking for somebody to help work Great, me congrats. out uh, as well. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Thank you. So, um, you put this on, and what was your experience? Well, I initially came in contact with the company Modius Health of uh, NeuroValence and Jason through a client that I was training online on the Facebook. Oh. Uh, Facebook, as far as I know, the first ever weight loss uh, live Facebook Live transformation series. And that client, because I gave her meditation to do, and that bliss feeling, that calmness that you you mentioned that you experience from this device, that's why she said to me, she goes, I. I don't want to meditate, but I found this device online. Can you research it? And when I researched it, I thought it was way too good to be true I, because I'm I'm hyperactive, as I think most people can tell that we even have a video and my arms are like, Rah! Um, well, that music was getting you going. So. Right. I'm my not... Broadway days. I did many Broadway shows. That's why oh. I picked that for you. 
I loved it. Yeah. Um, okay, so this got you what to go to a, a sense of peace well, or it, calm. So that you it didn't made think me about realize it. that there's a physical way of actually feeling what meditation give, provides you and gives you. So I I not only discovered that, but I discovered oh, it can actually change your relationship to food, and what Jason calls is a zero point, which basically is your metabolism. Correct? Yeah, it's, it's like a sort of set point. We call it like a thermostat. So there's somewhere in your brain in your hypothalamus that actually. You know, it, it's a figure of how much fat your body wants to store. And some people, if, if, if their hypothalamus is normal, and we really hate those people, they cannot put on weight and they'll stay lean no matter what. But for some people, unfortunately, that is set way too high. And so the body's always trying to store fat. Even when they don't need it, which obviously is why people get overweight, because they don't need it, but they're thinking they do or they want it. For me, it's a craving. You know, me I'll too. It's, and I really have a tough time. It's almost I wish this thing could slap me in the head and say, stop it. Because that's my issue. I don't think I mm -hmm. feel like I need to store fat, but I just need to grab what's in my way. Um, this, this does. Helps, I was going to say, yeah. this helps with this. I noticed when I wore it, it sort of helped with the craving, but it gave a sense of calm. And there is science involved, as you said, yeah. because Absolutely, yeah. what it sends electrical pulses, right? Mm -hmm. Explain how that works. Really kind of basic so that... Yeah. Every, all of us can understand it. So the, the hypothalamus, this control center for metabolism, it's quite a deep structure. It's, it's very sort of deep structure right in the center of your brain. And, you know, obviously it's very difficult to get right in there. But what we do is you use an existing path from just behind your ear. There's a nerve there. And we sort of take over the control of that nerve and send the little pulse through. It's kind of mm. like where the skull is, right? Like Yeah, you, that sort of hard bony part. If you sort of reach behind your ear, you can feel the hard bony part. There's a very important nerve there on both sides that's very close to the surface. And it's so close to the surface that actually you can stick a little pad on and turn that nerve on or off. Right. And so by doing that, um, do we have a video, I think, that yeah. sort of illustrates how this works? Tony, we have that thing yep. queued up? Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at that. All right, a little product placement at the top. Moody's okay. is really simple to use. First, use an alcohol wipe to clean the skin on the hard bony area behind your ears. Then attach the gel pads to your Modius headset. Place Modius on your head with the power button above your right ear. Remove the protective plastic cover from the gel pads and remove any hair strands before attaching the gel pads to the clean skin behind your ears. Turn Modius on by pressing the power button for two seconds. Pair Modius with your phone and control your headset using the app. Use for just 45 minutes a day, and that's it. Simple. Terrific. So by using this 45 minutes a day, just as you're relaxing and doing what you're doing, that really helps to stimulate it and keep it keep that hypotherm hypo oh my goodness hypo hypothalamus thank yep. you <laughs> <laughs> active and functioning and working throughout the day. Yeah. So it's if you imagine, uh, you know, maybe we, we, when we were all a bit younger, say in our late teens, we were probably all a bit more, you know, thinner and athletic, and you know, we l we look back fondly at those days when you could eat whatever you want, but yet stay in pretty good shape. Um, and at that point, your hypothalamus is probably working at its optimal level, and we're trying to get you back there. So we're stimulating it back to that sort of optimal lean athletic body. How, you know. how is this different, though, um, Craig, than just going and working out? Well, the going to work out is typically anywhere from like 20 minutes to an hour of your day. And this is tackling the other 23 hours, which is the most important part of anyone's fitness program. The craving and just the mental part. What right? happens when I'm not there, when I'm not micromanaging someone on a treadmill, that's what I tackle as a fitness expert. And I try and analyze, okay, how else are you including wellness in your life? So many people, especially in 2017, were so stressed, all of us. And you, you, you have, you're a mom, you have a job, you have all these, these stress is it's tough to to be able to stay on course and always take care of yourself and make the better choices especially when we want f to have food for um, for emotional reasons and to fulfill you know a damaging stressful day and such or a glass of wine or two or possibly three <laughs> everyone's looking at me yes yes it's happened um, but what's great about this device is if you wear it it is helping you achieve wellness which is only going to improve that time to go to the gym I'm not going to tell you not to go to the gym. I'm a fitness expert. If you well, can, you do it, too. Because it all seems to be a balance, and it works mm -hmm. together. I mean, you've got to work out. I think it's good to work with a trainer because they motivate you. If you can't afford that, just any way you can, stick on the sneakers and go for a walk. Or online, the social media. That's the genius I of that. I love that. Yeah. In fact, I'm having a guest on on my next show, and she does an entire 
um, course online about acting. I mean, the online has just opened up so much. It is. It also yeah. opens up a lot of like nonsense and, and bull crap out there as well. So you have to really go with what resonates with you and what you trust. As far as like what, why people gravitate towards me, I did reality TV. I've been on numerous reality shows. No. Really? Uh, Look, your did. personality <laughs> is just so, you're so joyful to be around. Oh, so. bless you. Thank you. No, but that's why you're a terrific trainer, because you're motivating. You're like, oh. And honest. Yeah. I'm really honest. I'm relatable. People look at me at first glance, and they're like, oh, wow, I don't want to get that big. And then when I'm like, I'm a huge foodie. I can scarf down 12,000 calories and not look back. When I was in Vegas and I let myself go, at the end of my buffet meal, the, the chefs recognized me from TV, and they sent over 50 buffalo wings. And guess what? I ate them. I was able to do it. And then what's good about this this device is that with me as a fitness professional, I'm in this industry be, to hold myself accountable. Wearing this device actually has already shifted my relationship with food. I went to the Cheesecake Factory the other day. I did not have cheesecake or wine. That's a huge And big you deal. really attribute it to this. You I do. You really feel like, because for me, I th it, it's all mental. I mean, if one more person says, well, you know, you just beef up more of the protein no. and a little less of the carb and that oh, you know that God. cornbread thing it's like i know you we know, know. The, the deal like, like you think i don't know that but yeah. the deal is doing it and i do believe it's so mental you do have to get into at least for me a bit of a relaxed state so yeah. that i can think about what i'm doing with purpose and i do believe chemically because, doing it yes yeah and this induces i think those chemicals because there's science behind it how yep. did you even come to doing this scientifically yeah, my background's in medicine. I work as a doctor. I still do, I say, a lot of time in the UK, but also was invited out to do neuroscience here in, well, in San Diego, University of California in San Diego. And the, the challenge, I suppose, laid down to us was we know it's difficult to lose weight. We know it's driven by your brain, all the chemicals, all the hormones, the drive of metabolism. We know that's all in the hypothalamus. Find a way to make losing weight easier for people. Okay. And this is so much safer than taking the pills. I, I am not a pill person. Um, especially particularly, uh, what is it, fentramine that a lot of, forget fen, fen that was just mm -hmm. flat out dangerous, was killing people. There's so but much out there. a lot of people there. are doing fentramine, and I believe, I know people who are doing that, and it's supposed to, what, stimulate the same thing, but it makes people edgy, mm -hmm. and then they come down off of it, and there's all kinds of issues, correct? Is it sort of, you know, yeah, the no, place of taking anything like that? Yeah, no, this has been shown to be very, very safe, and it, it really changes as I say, that entire drive of metabolism, all those kind of add-ons or tablets or pills are actually just like really stimulating your body to try and burn more calories and burn and burn and burn, which is, you know, as you say, pretty risky. But this this addresses the issue before it even gets there, and it is a much safer way to do it. Now, so what you would suggest combining this product, the Modius, with what else? Like what else in your regimen each day? Obviously food, and we all know that, the proper food intake. Yeah, a big thing for us is actually the transition into lifestyle. So we don't want to be seen as a company that's just selling a headset that you stick on and all of a sudden you're miraculously going to lose a lot of weight. You know, so we're setting up an online community. It's called Modius Life. Mm -hmm. oh. and, a, and a big drive for that is, yes, you know, you use the headset, try and get that into a lifestyle, but then, you know, slowly but consistently improve things like your healthy lifestyle choices, your healthy diet choices, and use the headset. And over time, we want people to transition into a real healthy, active life. In the studies that you've done, what was the percentage of body fat that was lost? That really impressed me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in, in the lab, which is without any diet or exercise, we were bringing guys in, and they were using it three hours a week, and the average was about 8%. Uh, but we were also able to show that within one hour, you can change metabolic hormones, and you can reduce appetite, and you can actually increase how much fat you burn at rest. So for me, that showed the one hour studies were, were really, really interesting. And we're now, we're expanding that right out to, to a full year long trial. And we do it, it is crazy, all the sort of measurements that we take. So we're really, really excited to see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've been doing this for a while, training people. What tends to be the Achilles heel for people when they're trying to lose weight? What's the toughest? And then keeping it off. I know I lost uh, some weight a couple of years ago and it's creeping up a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's really tough. I don't think people realize the chemical dependency that we have to like <sighs> process foods and sugars and carbs and a lifestyle of lack of sleep and, and stress and, and what that does to, to store fat on the body. Most people feel 
hideous about their relationship with working out and eating and they feel bad about their their self body image issues you know that are there um the first thing that i tackle is to, un to for people to understand that you are not without willpower this has nothing to do with your desire to change this has to do with a chemical imbalance so as soon as i start addressing that people it makes sense and they're like oh wow they also don't want to be manipulated into eating all this stuff so then they take their control back then once we can tackle the food and that's why I reached out and, and that's why I'm connected with with dr. Jason with this is because if we can shift people's consciousness into okay now I don't crave this as much now all this it's gonna happen on their own and a little will go a long long right. way in or their people journey saying there's nothing wrong with me this is this is a chemical situation that my body is producing I was probably born this way so the fact that my friend next to me who's thin and perfectly thin yeah. and doesn't crave that's okay that's the way she was born lucky her but for those of us who aren't um something like this is is, is necessary. it's a good is way it, to jump start yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it sort of similar to tapping you know people oh, who do that you yeah, know like yeah, yeah. they tap on the back of their ear i've seen people do that i've seen them do it at the gym i'm like oh, what is she hungry and she's <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah no i think a lot of people try you know different ways and the, the the thing that i would say is you know people are just fed up being told it's you have to exercise more and diet more. We've been told this for 50 years. It doesn't work. People are really looking for something new and something innovative, and you know that's why we're so excited about this. So you had a launch yesterday. Tell me about that. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. I was taking a kid to the airport. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, the product, yeah, we, I suppose just to give a little bit of background, we thought this was going to be like a medical device and you need a prescription. It would be you know, provided through a hospital or a clinician. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually we, uh, we're we delighted to say that in the U.S. we can sell this as a wellness device. So the big thing for the, that's cons terrific. Yeah, the consumer mm -hmm. is that you can buy this direct from us and you don't need a prescription, okay? Also, you don't need to be o obese, which a lot of people don't realize medical devices are for people who are really obese, whereas this can be used for someone who's overweight a little or maybe a lot overweight, but they, they want to improve. The fit to get okay. fitter as well. Yeah, yep. yeah, absolutely. So it really, really fits for everyone. And uh, what we've done is we've launched the product on Indiegogo. So it's, uh, I suppose it's like a kind of community where people like to find out about new products, about innovative stuff. So, so we're on there. If you search for Modius Health, and you get in early, you can actually get really great discounts on these. Yeah. And it smashed records on Indiegogo. Did By it the really way, people. Tell me about it because. Four, uh, four, four hours? Yeah, so we, you we, reached? Hit, we, we hit our 100% target in four hours. And this is a campaign that's designed to last 40 days. Uh, so, <laughs> wow. So, yeah, we're now at 650% or over, over. How did you do that? How did you get the word out? I mean, obviously, on, I mean, that was a great platform. Yeah, so. well, we, we have a great team behind it. You know, everybody's really passionate about it. Craig's here, but, you know, just loves it and, and has got behind it and really pushed it out there. And as I say, people are just looking for something. There's to a help need. Them. Yeah. Well, it's there's clean. It's clean and easy. And there's mm -hmm. no side effect to it that's what i liked about it i mean mm. i was afraid when i put it on oh my gosh am i going to feel dizzy nothing i mean i just it actually brought me to a state of calm yeah. um so everyone experiences different things though when they wear it right yeah what so did you go ahead well the, the majority of people will feel a little sort of floaty that, that you describe it as calm some people describe for me, it, as, it was nice and calm yeah a yeah. glass of red wine i feel like <laughs> on a I, cruise ship for yeah, me yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, really? oh yeah a glass of wine on a cruise ship oh yeah. mm -hmm. so it's, it's very obvious and if you feel I, I feel like i'm just a little sort of relaxed and i'm maybe sort of gently moving from side to side so i tend to you know wear it watching tv or lying just before i go to sleep yeah and, and you. I mean, you having your clients wear this now? I, I mean, do, yeah. Well, first off, I'm not going to complain about two glasses of wine on a cruise ship. It right. felt it feels really <laughs> good. I don't want to put that out there and have but people scared about it. But you didn't get seasick. You're okay. No, no, okay. I, I didn't. And as soon as you take it off, I, I didn't feel yeah, any anything. Straight away, yeah. yeah um, but I did. I, I had the opportunity to uh, allow m some of my clients to use this, and I wanted to choose a variety of clients. And uh, all of them immediately, like me, love the fact that it, there's no placebo about this. Like, you feel it immediately yeah. and and then afterwards like paying attention to it um, these people like me have tried everything we, we've tried the pills we've tried all these things so the fact that we've changed our lifestyle slightly and that we have more energy we're sleeping better um, everyone's becoming really really quickly drawn to this what I love about it is the science behind it 
and mm -hmm. no drugs. That's really important to me. I think so many people have been messed up because they've taken drugs and yeah. their heart beats just starts uh, uh, palpitating too fast. And hormones and, and like there's so much out up. there. I yeah. mean, and this does not. It's natural and it just stimulates something in the brain that needs to be stimulated in order to just suppress the appetite that, that yeah. you don't need. You don't need those extra calories. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. It's right. not taking yeah. away what you do need. It's taking away what you don't. Yeah. Why do we reach for food when we don't need it? Because you're right. I mean, just historically, people were, were storing fat for when they had to go through long win winters. We don't have that anymore. Why are we in the habit of just grabbing in this society, in your opinion? Well, so uh, I suppose two two things are big things. One is the the sense of pleasure that you get. You know, so your brain is developed to reward you for doing things. Oh, that, that cornbread. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> the cornbread again. Yeah. There's the corn. It's, it's delicious. It's homemade, and I love that stuff. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. Well, well, that's that's a big part of it. You know, that's why we tend to strive towards you know really high energy, high calorie like snacks and chocolate and everything. So really, you get that sense of reward. So whenever you you know whenever you have a stressful day and you're just tired, you know the last thing you want is like a protein check mm. everybody goes for the sweets or the chocolate and then the other thing is as i, say, I said earlier the, this drive for metabolism your body is always probably trying to store a little too much fat and that's because of that sort of thermostat in your brain so even even though you know you don't need it you know when you're trying to diet it is very very tempting and very difficult and that's all driven by your brain and that is the issue that we are we're one of the issues we're trying to fix and self-sabotage. I know people that, mm. that purposefully go out and they, they're scared of success. And they, they actually gravitate towards overeating or eating eating double cheat meals or whatever. Because a lot of people don't feel worthy of being athletic and, and feeling great about themselves right now. Why is that? I mean, I hear that all the time. And why are people sabotaging themselves? They're beaten they're down. How many people actually take... We're all take beaten down, right? All of us. Honestly, are, to, am, to some level. Doctor is, yeah, to some level. But you have to really work hard to well, pull yourself out of that. And if you can't, I get it. But it's even not not a necessarily everyone around us. It's also what we do to ourselves. That's what like I mean. You look in the mirror and, and how many times you we judge. Like, I do it on a daily basis. So taking time to really like analyze you and who you are and that you're worthy of it. That's one thing that I teach people that you're worthy of athleticism and all that. But what happens if someone has obstacles? Like this is the part that gets me a little emotional about it because I hear on a daily basis on my social media from people, hundreds of messages that say, I have this autoimmune disorder. I, I, I have, you know, three kids. I'm a single parent. I can't do this. I don't, I don't money for a gym membership. The, the obstacles are endless out there. So what do these people do? How do we get them moving? And as you said, walking and all of that, but sometimes it's just not enough. So the fact that finally we have some form of a, a device out there that will actually chemically change this and will give you an option where you feel good about yourself is only going to snowball into great success. You know what I love about you? Because I, I know your work. You really care about totally. each person that you work with even just now you're getting a little oh i up, do i, and I it's real break and down I, at I times about, about it yeah you. yeah you're a terrific uh, trainer you. because you get into the head and doctor i really appreciate that you thought further enough to you know invent a product like this it's, it's yep. pretty incredible so your offices are are in uh, you're in dublin uh yeah so nor north of dublin in belfast Okay, you're so, in you're in Belfast and yeah. here in San and Diego. And San Diego as well. So we do it, most of our clinical research is is done out in San Diego at and the you university. Blew it out of the water last night um, <laughs> with your initial um, <laughs> initial sales. So how yep. can someone pick this up and how much is it? I know that you've got an initial offering. Tell me about that. So yeah, as I say, if you search for Modius Health online, and that's M O D I U S yep. Health, or on Facebook, or I'm sure mm -hmm. we can probably link link through to people. Yeah, let's do um, that. So uh, on on this sort of platform on Indiegogo, it's it's for like sort of early projects where you can get something at a real heavily discounted price. So it, it is almost like a first come first serve. So if, if people want you know the real heavy discounts, the retail price for is around four nine nine dollars. Mm -hmm. um, but, but we're actually on Indiegogo. We launched at half price. So if people want to get in there quick, they're going to get a good deal and, and money back guarantee. Let me tell you about caring. Okay. The fact that that's incredible. Yeah. So if it don't work for you, you get your money back. That's, yeah. I mean, you have nothing to lose. Exactly. This is terrific. I loved it. I'm thrilled to go home and continue using it because I want to see the long-term effects of this. Mm -hmm. Now, can you just continue to use it, like, forever? 
Yeah, we'd recommend you one. Hour, it actually stops working after one hour. Okay, so you can't sort of overuse or abuse it, <laughs> which uh, makes me laugh yeah. because yeah. every single person's like, "Well, how many hours a day yeah. can I use this?" But I mean, you yeah. you can use this ongoing, right? It's just oh, something yeah, no, that no. you like, can use I, it a year I've, from now. And personally, I've used this for maybe a year to eighteen months. Really? Like, I mean, five times a week. And now, actually, I'm, I'm really happy with the results I've got, so I've been able to sort of take it right down, so maybe twice a week. You came here with your wife, who's in exceptionally perfect shape. Has mm-hmm. she been using this? I mean, really, when I saw her, I'm like, who is this? Mm-hmm. So she must be wearing this day and night. Yeah, it, we, we, we actually were fighting over it for a while, because once you use up the R, then the, the other person can't use it, so we were fighting I'm over it. I'm doing the same we, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Are you really? Yes. yes. <laughs> like, get away, I want it. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah, I removed it from Brandon's head the other <laughs> oh, no. day. He felt click, click, and he just woke up a little bit and I'm like sorry new <laughs> thing to argue about in the house guys anyway weight thank loss. you yeah weight yeah. loss that's a good thing anyway yeah. I really appreciate you being here any parting words hmm. from both of you um, for me, it's uh, f- feel good about yourself and spread the, the message. Like we are sharing on our social media from your Facebook page live, which is just, can you tell people? Yeah. What, what is the, what is the, what's your Facebook? Oh, it's Deborah Cobalt Live. And how do you spell your last name again? K-O-B-Y-L-T. And Deborah is the long way. Deborah Cobalt Live is the show and that, that goes live. My personal one is Deborah Zara Cobalt. So I just posted it. And what I encourage everyone to do is share, share, share. Share it out you there. You have no idea how many people people that are on your Facebook list or social media, friends and family that are in need of this that have not cried out yet, but that it can change, change, change and motivate. Well, that's that's another thing I'm trying to do with my social media. I'm using it for good stuff to motivate people, to help people, to have a real conscience about what we're doing. I mean, I'm trying to stay away from posting the nonsense photos. I, I'm actually not posting the, look at me at the birthday party last night. I'm not doing it. I'm oh, doing my God. Stuff. We're taking a selfie after this, and I'm going to say, look at me at the birthday party last night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but no. So, yes, let's all do that. Yeah, and sure. I, I'm really glad that you, uh, that you guys came by. Thank glad you, that man. I got the opportunity to try this, and I encourage everybody else to do it, too, because a lot of us are suffering with a little bit, uh, little bit of weight. Be and happy. A natural mm-hmm. way to do it and be happy. Mm-hmm. So, gentlemen, thank you for being here. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Okay, thank have you. a good day. And uh, thank you for tuning in to another fun edition of Deborah Cobalt Live. See you next week.